Today's lesson, 7.1, is a fun one. It's found on page 261, and it's about exponents. How do you write and find the value of exponents involving, um, or I'm sorry, expressions involving exponents? You can use an exponent and a base to show repeated multiplication of the same factor. An exponent is a number that tells how many times a number called the base is used as a repeated factor. So in other words, this little three up here, this exponent, means that we're multiplying five three times. Five times five times five. So you might hear this terminology, um, particularly as you go forward with your education. Five with the exponent two can be read the second power of five or five squared. Five with the exponent three can be read the third power of five or five cubed or five to the power of three, five to the power of two. All of those are uh, terms that mean the same thing. Unlock the problem. The table shows the number of bonuses a, a player can receive in each level of a video game. Use an exponent to write the number of bonuses a, pl a player can receive in level D. So we're gonna use the exponent to write Three times three times three times three. The uh, so let's take a look at our chart here. So we're talking about level D. So that would be three times three times three times three or four threes. The number three is being used as a repeated factor. Three is used as a factor four times. One, two, three, four times. So write the base, which is three, and the exponent, which is four, because that's the number of times three was repeated. So a player can receive three to the fourth power bonuses in level D. All right, let's try another one. Here we have sevens. How many sevens? Seven is our base. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. So the number seven is being used as a repeated factor. That's our base. Seven is used as a factor five times. One, two, three, four, five. Write the base and the exponent. The base is seven, exponent five. All right, here they're throwing us something a little different. We have two bases now. We have the base six and the base eight are being used as repeated factors. Six is used as a factor two times. 8 is used as a factor 3 times. So this is 6 to the second power and 8 to the third power. On the next page, we have a base 10. Base 10s are kind of special. Um, anytime we're using 10s, they're a little special and they're fun because they're always easy. So use repeated multiplication um, to write 10 to the third power. The repeated factor is 10. So, um, and we wrote to the third power, three times three, oh, I'm sorry. Let's try that again. There are it's to the third power, so that's 10 times 10 times 10. So write the factor three times. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let's, let's take a time out for just a second and take a look at this. The easiest way to remember um, 
how to multiply exponents, how to um, evaluate an exponent is, let's say you've got the number two to the fourth power. That four is a power, right? Two to the fourth power. So think about how many power lines do I need here? I need four, one, two, three, four power lines. And what am I going to put on each of these four power lines? I'm gonna put a two on each of the power lines. And then I begin to evaluate. So two times two is four, bring down that times, two times two is another four. Four times four is 16. So this is how I keep myself organized when I'm working with exponents. I look at the exponent and that's the number of power lines I put down. Then I take the base and I put them on each of the power lines and I will get the right answer every time if I use that method. All right, so let's keep that in mind as we move forward. Multiply each pair of factors working from right to left. Uh, oh, so now we're, old, now we're evaluating this base 10. All right, so uh, 10 times 10 is 100, so that's where that came from, 100 times this last 10, and 100 times 10 is 1,000. All right, so, but working with base 10s, and this only works with 10s, notice that my base is 10 and my exponent was three. How many zeros did I end up with? Three zeros. So. 10 to the fourth power would equal one, two, three, four zeros or 10,000. Let's see, 10 to the second power would be two zeros behind would be 100. Again, this only works with tens. So if you, whatever you see is the exponent, that's the number of zeros that go behind and you're done. You don't actually have to do all this multiplication with only tens. It only works with tens. All right, going back to a regular number, not a base 10. So now we have a base seven. So the repeated factor is seven. We write the factor exactly one time. Oops, I wrote a seven when I meant to say one, sorry. One time, so seven, so that would be seven, how many, okay, let's back that up and let's do the power lines. How many power lines is that? That's one, right? One power line, put a seven on it. Am I multiplying anything here? I'm not. So seven to the first power is just seven. Okay, let's try this again. Three to the second power is the same as having two power lines with a three on them, on each of them, which equals nine. So three to the third power has three power lines because of the exponent to the power of three then I put my base on, three times three is nine, times three more is 27. All right, this time I have a power of four, so I have one, two, three, four power lines. I put my base on each of the power lines and then I start to multiply. Now when it gets this big, I like to multiply it in chunks. So three times three is nine times, three times three is another nine, which equals 81. So 81 can also be written as three to the fourth power. Three to the fourth power equals 81. They're the, they're the same number written two different ways. All right, moving along. Explain how to write repeated multiplication of a factor by using an exponent. 
So we use the repeated factor as the base. So the base is the repeated factor. In this case, it was three. Up here, it was seven. All right, so the base is the repeated factor. The number of times, so how do I say this? The number of times the base is multiplied is the exponent. Okay, let's answer this. Is 5 to the second power equal to 2 to the fifth power? Well, let's do a little margin work and figure this out. All right, so let's move this over. So I have 2 here, to, uh, so it's 5 to the second power, 2 power lines, 5 times 5, that's 25. Here I have 2 to the fifth power, so that's 5 power lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to put a 2 on all of those. I end up with 4 times 4 times 2 which is 16 times 2, which is 32. All right, so is 5 to the second power equal to 2 to the fifth power? No. So, no. 5 squared, or 5 to the second power equals 25, and uh, 2 to the fifth power equals 32. And show your work. Leave it there for your teacher to see so they can see what's going on in your brain. All right. Uh, describe how you can have solved the problem in example two, this one up here, where we started with right, right 81. Uh, right 81 as with an exponent by using three as the base. So we just did that by um, three to the second, three to the third. We just kept multiplying it out until we found that three to the fourth equal to 81. Well, how could we do that a different way? Okay, we could have, we could have started with 81 um, and divide by three Um, until, until the quotient is 1. Okay, so, so it would look something like this. So 81 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8 uh, twice. So I end up with 21. So we have 27. So, so now we go, we do it again. Uh, three goes into 27 nine times. Three goes into nine three times. All right, and three goes into three one time. So now I've got it down to the quotient is one. So it took me one, two, three, four times to get that quotient down to one. So therefore it'd be three to the fourth equals 81. All right, let's just do a couple more here. Um, I don't like that, that they're doing part of it for you. Let's just do this from scratch. We're gonna write two to the fourth power by using uh, repeated multiplication, then find the value. So two to the fourth power, how many power lines? Four, one, two, three, four. All right, and what do I put on each of those lines? I put a two, 
So that's the same as 4 times 4, which equals 16. So 2 to the 4th power equals 16. Now they want us to do it the opposite way. We have 7 as our base. How many 7s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we write that as 7 to the 4th power. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 to the 5th power and so on. All right, let's take a look at our notes. All right, here we are um, with our notes. 5 to the 3rd power, 3 is the exponent, 5 is the base. We put down 3 power lines because that's our exponent. Multiply it out, you come up with 125. And here are all the steps. Now, they're going to throw some problems at you that um, include order of operations. So, 2 to the 3rd power plus 4 to the 2nd power. According to order of operations, exponents come before addition. So you have to figure out the exponents first, put down your power lines, your bases, figure it out. Then you can add at the end. And then finally, our base 10 trick that I mentioned during the lesson. The exponent tells you how many zeros are behind the 1. So for example, 10 to the 4th power is 10,000 because there's 4 zeros behind. 10 to the 6th power is 1 million because there's six zeros behind. This only works with 10s. All right, good luck.